Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm attempting to paint an orchid. It's my very first time attempting this project. And I am painting with a brush the background, but then I gave up because that was gonna take way too many layers of paint. So I decided to do a clean pour and swipe. So I'm using really just a few colors, keeping it to a minimum green yellow one tone of green one tone of yellow white titanium white um, and also adding using flow 8 as my lubricant right here i am just mixing a little bit of the flow 8 and a small amount of green um, to go ahead and do the swipe which you will have to forgive me my camera wasn't rolling when i did the swipe so you just will see in the next frame you will see the end result of the swipe which i use the center of the flower uh, as a guide to just swipe outwardly outwards all around as you can see, the, the, you can actually see the movement, how I swipe out. For further blending amongst the colors and to open up more cells, I blew air into this throw, the throw technique or blowing technique. I will now focus on the bottom section of the background and I want to see mostly green, no yellow. So I need two tones of greens, I need some kind of contrast and I'm adding one of the, the dark greens going to have, I added the flow A, my lubricant, and the lighter green is, I use as my, as my base color, the dark green plus white plus yellow ochre. With the palette knife, I will be surfing on the paint, swiping back and forth, and being really careful so that the paint doesn't blend. I want to see contrast, separation, and, um, and just keep an eye on the cells, making sure they open up and making sure I don't destroy them. The video has been sped up, it's not the actual speed, I was actually working slower. Just for reasons to save time and memory, I speed up the video most of the time. Now let's take a closer look at the action. What cells opened up and I like it. I really like what I see. For the petals, I will be using the Quinacridrum magenta and the titanium white. 
so it's a clean pour again my background is not dry yet I'm risking it but what I have in mind is I'm gonna after I work on these petals I'm gonna let it dry let it dry overnight and continue to work on it tomorrow Now that I have my two high contrast colors on it, I blow, apply air to it to allow it to blend a bit, but not too much and create cells. Now I'm going to take a closer look and analyze, see what needs to be done. Oh, definitely this one needs more air, more blend, more, a little bit of more blending. Uh, here I'm not too sure, I might blow on it a little bit more. I'll think about it. All of the background is dry now, totally dry. And now with the sponge, I'm applying color, pure magenta in the middle, not diluted with the Floetrol. Now this white, it is diluted. It is mixed with Floetrol. And, and I'm doing a clean pour. I will apply as well the magenta, um, magenta the quinacridrum magenta and blow again same technique pour and repeat
For a while now, I've been meaning to experiment and try to recreate the petals of an orchid. I've done other flowers and it's a lot of fun, but I always have an orchid in mind. So this is a fun experiment to try to recreate something similar. It's not going to be exact because I have no control over how the paint's going to what the paint's gonna do when I blow on it, other than I know that it's gonna mix, but I, I have no control over the pattern. I'm sticking to blowing in the same direction to at least get some kind of uh, pattern attempt to anyway. Now the background is dry so when I blow over the edge and make it kind of flare out, I really like that effect. It, it makes it look a little bit more organic and less uh, abstract. I am certainly loving these bigger petals. A lot of cell action going on. I had, uh, the magenta had uh, the, the the flow eight I had a little bit of flow eight in it lubricant beautiful okay I'm gonna let it dry overnight and keep working on it tomorrow all right next step uh, I'm gonna call this the tongue of the orchid. I really don't know what it's called. So I'm just going over it and giving it detail with a brush, giving the petals some depth as well. And I'm switching, I'm gonna switch brushes because this one it's a little too, too big for what I wanna do. So I'm gonna switch to like a liner and keep going on it, giving it depth and details. As I was working on the tongue of the orchid, I figured it was going to need way many more layers of paint and that requires a lot of more time. So I decided to just do another uh, clean pour on top of it with um, the paint I had already left over pre-mixed with the, with the um, Floetrol and just apply that 
to the desired section and get a nice solid effect and uh, I am also going to add more green for better definition at the bottom just like paint straight out of the tube not diluted with Floetrol because Floetrol is gonna make it semi translucent it takes more layers also if you are just using a brush applying it with a brush and now the background looks way too yellow so i'm gonna apply more green to it I allowed the tongue to dry overnight and now it's ready for highlights. I am using a white mix pre-blended with the Floetrol. Off camera, I added an additional orchid, a little one so that the big one wouldn't look so lonely and the stem i added a stem as well to make the composition more interesting so all of that i painted it with a brush it was not a clean pour it was just painted with a brush and now i'm going to use this why because i have it to protect it i'm out of varnish so i just want to use this guy right here before it gets older and useless and this is what i will apply to the whole painting it's all completely dry so i will protect it with this regular gel gloss i hope this video can help you in your own experiments and projects you know if you like it give it a like subscribe if you would like to see a lot more and I have a Facebook page, Felix Art World. I also have an Instagram page, Felix Art World, by the same name. And there you can find photographs of many of the paintings I do on these videos. And this is the finished look, all nice and dry. Well, thank you for watching. Bye.